Hello, and welcome to Brian's Board. Market sizing is estimating the number of buyers or users of your product, and it's an important part of a discussion you would have with investors or funders about, um, about market opportunity. And you may have heard about a couple different ways of going about sizing, and one is top-down and the other is bottom-up analysis. Today, I'm going to focus on top-down analysis. And to set the stage, let's say that you are offering 3D printed tchotchkes in the form of pet figurines and that they're made out of compostable um, plastic. And through your market research, you find that the global tchotchke market is $1 billion, but you only intend to go after the US market and that makes up 10% of that number. So now you're down to $100 million. And you also see through your research that 50% of tchotchke buyers want antiques which cuts your share of the market in half. So now you're down to 50 million. And you also see that, um, that only 20% will buy things made of plastic, which takes you down to 10 million. But the good news is that pet lovers are just freaks for tchotchkes and they make up 70% of the market. So that takes you to $7 million per year. And you can go on and on and on. So the idea is you continue this process with more rigorous assumptions until you get to a you get to a place that you're comfortable with in terms of refining your um, your opportunity, and one common mistake I'll point out that entrepreneurs make is they'll, they'll take a shortcut, and so they'll say, well, the global market for tchotchkes is one billion dollars, and if we conservatively speaking, if we can just get five percent of that, then we'll be at uh, fifty million dollars, and then they're boom done. So no, don't do that. The, what that tells investors and funders is that you're a person that likes to take shortcuts. It doesn't really tell them about any rationale you used for coming up with your numbers. Um, so that's top-down approach. Uh, if this is the only approach you're using to do your market sizing, then you get an incomplete. In the next episode, I will talk about bottom-up analysis. And this has been Brian's Board with CTC. Mm -hmm.